let's take a look at a really fun accompaniment idea that sounds challenging, really adds to your accompaniments, but is really simple to incorporate. So let's look at a fun technique idea to incorporate into our accompaniment. Now, this technique is referred to as ostinato. It's a repeated pattern that you play over and over again for a length of time in the song. Now, there's different ways you can utilize this pattern, and I'm gonna show you a, a few different options. So let's just look in the key of F for now. I'm gonna show you how I utilize this first ostinato pattern. And so in the song that I've written, But If Not, I utilize an ostinato in my right hand during the chorus. So the pattern that I utilize in this song, we're in the key of F, and instead of playing the F chord, I'm going to play the F2 chord, but it's going to be in second inversion. So I'll be playing C, F, G, C. Now you can do this a few different ways. You can play it going up. I'm playing all the tones starting from the bottom. I can play them starting from the top. So those are two different ways to do that pattern. And this works with all the ostinato patterns I'm gonna show you today. Another option is start at the top and then go to the bottom and work your way back up. So in this song, I utilize the pattern on the chorus and this is what it sounds like. pause right there. So notice how I'm utilizing that ostinato pattern. I can use it longer as I change different chords. So when I went to the B flat, I could continue with that exact pattern and it would sound like this. So that is one style of ostinato pattern and this one is really nice to add in the right hand. Now here's a few different ways you can create different patterns. That one we were utilizing the two chord, so whatever chord you have, if we had a B flat, instead of playing the third, which is D, play the two and use it in second inversion. That's one idea. So another pattern we could try is taking, let's go to the F chord, and we're going to play the seven, which is E, F, A, C. Now I'm starting from the bottom with this one. You could start from the top if you wanted to. And work your way down. We could start on the top and then work our way up. It's just going to change the sound. Another one that I really enjoy is taking the two, which if we're in the F chord is G, and the seven, which is E, and instead of playing just my plain F chord, I'm going to play the two, five, seven, one. So let's take the hymn, I'd Rather Have Jesus, and utilize the ostinato pattern in this hymn to show you how we could add it in another part of an accompaniment. So the melody of this hymn, to get it in your head. So hum that along as I play this ostinato pattern. ostinato patterns in your right hand you can utilize them in your left hand but they add a really nice concept to the right hand for a gentle part of the accompaniment when you want this really delicate section if this tutorial has helped you please like the video subscribe to our youtube channel and share it with others